Good afternoon. I'm Daniel Kress of thegradshift.com. We're here with uh, Sean Bell. He's a TD Financial Services representative. And uh, today we're going to take a look at some things that you can do to, uh, to really get yourself off on the right foot when you're coming out of um, your post-secondary education as a student and looking forward to you know, what uh, financial planning and things you have uh, in the future. Uh, so Sean, um, can you tell me just sort of what, um, what is it really important for, uh, for students to do as they're graduating with their, with their financial uh, planning? Well, one of the things you want to make sure you do is if you do have financial debt, make sure you're paying that debt on time and properly. Mm -hmm. The last thing you want to do is come out of school or start coming out of school with a bad credit rating. That will follow you for a number of years, make it difficult when it is time that you want to buy that first house or, house or buy that first car after graduation. Oh, okay. Um, and uh, so when you're when you're moving forward, uh, how important is a, is a budget? Having something to um, to to plan out your where your money's coming from and where it's going. It's always good to know where your money is going so that you're not overspending on things that you can't afford and again to make sure that you are keep, keeping up with any debt obligations that you do have. Mm -hmm. A budget can help you identify if you do have some extra money that you can you mark for savings as well. Right. And sticking to the budget is important so you don't run up your debt even more, especially if you are coming out with a lot of debt as many students are now after uh, they finish their studies. Right. So what would you say about prioritizing um, where your money uh, needs to be going in terms of going to pay off debt, going to you know other, other areas of your budget? A lot of it has to do with what your financial goals are and what you're, you're marking certain money for. If you're coming out of school and you're wanting to save up to get a house, well, you're going to need a down payment. Mm -hmm. So putting a bit of money aside every month to go towards that and save over time is important. But at the same time, you want to make sure you're at least making the minimum payments that you have on the debts that you have so that you don't right. interfere with your credit score and your credit bureau report. Right. And if you do have those multiple debts, um, what would you say is, how, how would you prioritize which one to, to pay off first? Most important thing is to make sure you're making the minimum payment on all of them. Right. Once you've made that, whichever debt carries the highest interest rate is the one you want to concentrate on first and put any additional funds towards. Okay. Um, and then for students who are looking at, uh, at saving a little bit more money, um, there's, there's tons of options out there for, uh, for students and for, well, as they're moving into their adult life. Um, what, uh, what are the benefits of uh, TFS, uh, TF, TFSAs uh, and RRSPs? Well, again, it depends what your goal is for the money. Um, the big benefit of the RRSP is that it reduces your taxable income and the money while it sits in the RSP can grow on a tax-free basis. Now with an RSP contribution, you may end up getting a tax refund, which it's always great if you can roll that back into the RSP right away when you get it. And you're going to be taxed on the money eventually when it comes out of the RSP when you do retire and use it to supplement your retirement. The tax-free savings account for saving for other goals and things is a great way to save. It does not get you the upfront um, reduction in your taxes owing in any given year, but it, what it does is it allows the money within the account to grow on a tax-free basis so you're not paying taxes on the money while it accumulates or when you withdraw it. Okay, great. Um, and then when you're, when you're looking for um, a loan or something, how important um, is that credit history that you mentioned before? Credit history is very important. It's one of the, the three main principles when they are looking at a loan for you. Um, your credit score, your capacity to repay the loan, and your uh, history. Okay. Um, yeah, if you, all types of loans have minimum credit scores. If you don't at least make that minimum score, they're not even gonna look at you, and it will in fact, in fact, it'll affect the interest rate that they give you as well. Uh, going along with that credit history, um, students, a lot of students have multiple um, visas and MasterCards and, and things like that. And you know, some people hear it's, it's better to have you know a couple of cards just in case. Or you know, what what do you say to to people who talk about um, you know multiple cards having that much more backup? Um, 
it's always good to have at least a couple things reporting on your credit history that'll help providing you're paying them properly, mm -hmm. increase your score faster as opposed to having one. The danger is though for people who have a whole bunch of them, when you are looking for that mortgage or loan, in many cases the lenders will uh, factor into it what your payments would be on those credit cards if you were to rack them all up to the top, mm -hmm. to the limits in terms of calculating what the minimum payments would be, which again is going to reduce the amount that you may be able to borrow because of that. Okay. And any one tip, you know, maybe from yourself as a, when you were, you know, moving forward from being a student into, into the workforce, uh, one financial tip? <laughs> well, one financial tip would be try to start a, uh, a savings plan early. I mean, when you're working, set up those pre-authorized debits, either into an RSP or into a separate savings plan. The separate savings plan is important for emergencies. Something happens, you're starting your first job, who knows how long that job's going to last, especially in today's economy. Right. So having something to fall back on is very important while still maintaining the payments of any minimums, at least, that you owe on any debt that you have. Right. Okay, I think that's some great advice for uh, hopefully some uh, some watchers. Okay. And, uh, I really appreciate it. Thanks very much. Nice discussing it. Thank you. Thank you.